questions that I always get is, Terry, how do you make your Jamboard backgrounds? Canva. So in this video tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to use Canva to build Jamboard backgrounds that can also be used as Google Slide backgrounds, backgrounds for your Zoom classroom meetings, backgrounds for fancy PowerPoint presentations. So let's jump into it. I am currently working on a Jamboard background right now for an activity that is inside the Twisted Teaching membership called What's Happening. And so I'm gonna be um, building this background for you guys all over again, just so that that way I can walk you through my process. So. We're gonna go ahead and we're going to go to Canva. And when you get to Canva, you wanna make sure that when you pop up to the Canva home screen, it's gonna give you some recommended templates that you can use, right? So the template that you wanna use is the presentation template. And you wanna make sure that the presentation template is 19 by 20, um, 1920 by 1080, okay? Because that's gonna give you the right dimensions that you need. So. What I love about building backgrounds in Canva is that the first thing is that they have all of these different templates that you can use. So if you don't know where to start, you don't have to worry about that. They got you covered. So I am going to go ahead and I am going to first, with my background, kind of choose the color that I want. So you can go to the color feature here and then you can select the color that you like. So I just want the standard white background so I don't have to worry about colors. So then you wanna go to your elements, okay? So with your elements, you can search some of the different elements that you want featured. So if you want a camera feature, you can search camera and drag it over there. So just kind of thinking about when you looked at the um, Black History Month uh, Zoom backgrounds that were created, I created those using Canva. So I am going to pull in my elements that I want. And so if you guys could already see, I really kind of had the background built already. Um, so I'm just going to recreate it for you guys. And so I have some of the elements that I had already previous, previously used. So I'm just gonna pull those in again. And I remember I had that arrow. And then I'm gonna resize this arrow for you, or for me. Okay, and I wanna add some text. So I'm gonna go and then I'll go in and I'll put my text. So my heading is gonna be there. Um, and then I'm gonna add a little body text here. So this is where my questions will be. And I'm not gonna fully go through it, um, as far as adding what I'm going to add, because you'll see the final product very soon. I'm going to be releasing it in the Twisted Teaching newsletter. So you should get it. So there. Okay. So I have my background built, right? So now what I want to do is I want to go and download my background. You want to make sure um, that you download it. And I'm going to pull up the final product for you. When you're downloading your background, I download my backgrounds as a PNG file, okay? And so it's going to automatically default to PDF standard because that is suggested. Now, here's the deal. I would say go ahead and still download this as a PDF. So that, that way, if you were to add any hyperlinks into this document, they only work as a PDF. So let me go back to this. If I wanted to add a link, right? So say for instance, I wanted to add a link to the Jamboard that I already have set up. I'm gonna copy that link and I'm gonna put it here. So I'm gonna go to link. I'm gonna insert that there. So now this is hyperlink. And when, my, when I download it as a PDF only, if you do it as a PNG, the link is not gonna work. So when I download it as a PDF, because say for instance, I have students who uh, maybe I just want to use this as a different classroom resource and I don't want to use it in Jamboard. Um, I had a student who was absent. And I still want them to work on it. I can send them to the Jamboard if not, but if not, I have this as a um, PDF that I can use. Another thing that is also cool about this is that if you give it to students in this template, they can also go in and hyperlink their own stuff. But that's a whole nother video. So you wanna download this as a PNG file. 
okay? And so you're gonna download it and give it time. And then it's gonna download to your computer. So you wanna go over to Jamboard. So jamboard.google.com and I'm just gonna go and start a new one for you. And then you want to click the plus menu, the plus sign, uh, so that that way you add. And then you want to go set background, okay? So right here where you see the little picture add image icon, you want to click there and you want to browse your computer. And then you're going to see a bunch of junk pop up on my computer because I need to get my files in order. So you browse your computer and I am going to pull out the uh, recent file, which was what's happening. And bam, there you go. It is now your Jamboard background, okay? So if I wanted to create a background for every student, then all I have to do is now go and hit the three dots and I want to duplicate this background. So now I can have as many as I need for every student or for every small group. And the way I use this is, okay, so, when we are looking at a concept or a term, I want to ask my students what's happening, right? So what's happening is really, really pushing them to think about, okay, what is going on with this term? How can I use this term? Um, why is it relevant to me? So what's happening is, hey, we're studying this concept or we're studying this term. So based on your own research of this concept or term, go ahead and tell me what you learned about it. So the way my students would do that is they would go ahead and do a text box here, drag it over here and tell me what's happening. All right, so explain this concept or term and how it can relate to your life or your community. Because you guys know as culturally responsive teachers, we are always connecting it back to our students reality and connecting it back to their community. So same thing, text box, bring it over here. They're gonna ask. All right, snap it. So this is the fun part. What image comes to mind when you think about this concept or term? So that gives students the opportunity to go to the search and say, um, I think about activism. And so they can pull activism and they can insert it there. Um, and so there are a variety of different, uh, okay, I'll pull that one. I really didn't look at it, but it looks like students. So they can take that, they can insert it there and then put this concept into action. So what I'd like to push them to do is record themselves doing a video, a skit, um, creating a song, a poem, describing how this term or concept could be used to solve a real life problem. And so after they record that video or skit, they would save it to their camera roll. And in the same way that they went and they added, um, they would go and they would pull it up and put it there in the center for performing. And then the last thing is grasp it. So as a reflection, summarize the relevancy of this concept or term. And I'm actually going to fix this one because I want this to say and push students to summarize the relevancy of this term or concept and how it can be used to solve a current issue that is important or relevant to them. And so I am going to change that and fix that so that that way in my classroom, I can ask my students what's happening. So you got a two for one deal in this video. Not only did you get how to create Jamboard backgrounds using Canva, you also got an overview of the what's happening strategy. So I look forward to sharing my work with you. I hope this video was helpful and I'm out. <laughs>